We got another tutorial for you guys today on um, the stereoscopic effect in Cinema 4D R13. Um, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, what it allows you to do is create 3D visuals uh, in the new workflow. Um, you can do it with old projects, new projects. Like this is a a project that comes with the uh, Cinema 4D, but it's not actually a stereoscopic project. Um, so I guess you could say it's an old project. Um, you can just simply just add it on, which I'll be showing you how to do. Um, you can even preview it in the viewport, which I'll be showing you how to do. Um, which is basically seeing it in real time. Uh, yeah, so let's go straight into it. Uh, what you want to do firstly is go into render settings, make sure you have stereoscopic checked. Uh, what this allows is basically so the your final render will have this effect, the stereoscopic effect. Um, now let's just put this to one side uh, or just minimize it. Um, now, most important thing uh, when you're creating a stereoscopic project is to make sure your camera is in 3D and that it's recording in 3D space. Uh, so by adding a new camera you'll just want to go to this new option here called stereoscopic which is added with the new camera uh, was along with the physical render which I showed you in the last tutorial um, and these are the uh, different modes you can use symmetrical means that they'll be next to each other obviously you're not seeing anything yet because we haven't enabled to actually see it yet um, on the uh, viewport, but this is for the camera. And you can see that once you did that, the 3D symbol has appeared on the camera. Um, this means that the camera is enabled for 3D recording, uh, you know, render, 3D rendering basically. Um, so, I, th let's, I think these are a bit too high. Um, <laughs> let's just put 20 and 10 maybe see how that works out uh, oops um yeah so the what symmetrical means is that the pictures will appear next to each other the two separate channels would be right next to each other obviously you can have left and right and completely separated but symmetrical is usually what people use um now let's just take this box down here um and we can you, you can choose whatever you want 70 or 90 uh for auto planes we're just going to put 70 so we don't have to manually control it um and now very important part it to to, to sh we that that's the very important part which allows you to actually work with the 3D um now a little bonus what they gave you is that but if you go to options configure all is that when you're in the viewport you can actually instead of you know rendering it out you can actually see from um, in real time what's actually happening so as you can see that you can see the two separate channels here in the render in the picture viewer you can't actually see it see it on the viewport yet when you render it out you see uh, what they allowed you to do, um, Maxon, is by going Options, Configure All, you go to Stereoscopic and then click Enable, you, you can actually work in your viewport with 3D. Uh, everything's 3D, even your mouse. So basically the whole project is going now in Stereoscopic. Um, in fact, uh, this doesn't actually affect the final render since this is just the viewport. Uh, or the workflow, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, the, and here you can play around with the different modes. Uh, this is exactly the same to what's in the render settings, as you can see here. Um, the modes, the parallax, parallax, I mean. <laughs> um, mono is basically, you can actually set, it appears as one channel, but you can render out completely two separate channels if you get out what I mean um, <laughs> anaglyph is most popular one um, red and blue right next to each other uh, interlaced is 
as it says the name, interlaced. They go through each other. Um, shutter is for those, you know, really expensive 3D TVs that have those shutter glasses. Um, and side by side, which is what I was talking previously. Uh, some glasses and s I think the old cinemas they used to do, they has ha used to have two pictures appearing, and like one gla glass, one side of the glasses would pick up one, and basically yeah, uh, it's kind of like the new uh, 3D PlayStation screen. Uh, if you ha if you got that, you'll know what I mean. Um, yeah. So, anaglyph is the most popular one, so we're just going to leave it at that. Um, and here you can just basically change the colors to what you want, blue, green, red, yellow, magneto. I'm just going to keep on red, um, since that's the default. Uh, for the render settings now, um, by actually what you're doing on the viewport does not actually affect your final render it's just a way of kind of experimenting so you'll always make sure to go back to your render settings and basically copy these settings over to here to what to have to have what you want um so like you can have anaglyph on the viewport but it'll render out the side by side if you leave it like that so make sure if you want to use anaglyph, you like how it is in the viewport, make sure you also have anaglyph here. And that's how it works. Um, I think it's a really cool feature. Um, definitely going to be using it in future projects. Um, here's a little render for you. As you can see, it's not that slow. Uh, it actually goes all right. And there you go. You can see the double um, channel the anaglyph you can see the little red one there and the blue one there or greenish you know what I mean um, so yeah thanks for watching 